King Lear to me is a play like a few others that if you're interested in plays, if you love Shakespeare, you know you're going to get around to someday. Certainly I did. I mean, I knew that this was a play that I've thought about for a long time, that I've loved, that I've seen a lot. And it just started to come together for me uh, that this was the right time, that I was, maybe it's because I have three children, maybe it's because I have a father who's 80, maybe it's because I myself can understand Lear for the first time that when I called Stacy, I also, without ever having a conversation with him, knew that King Lear would be a role he had been thinking about. Lear, probably more than any other role in the canon, requires a kind of concentration and technical ability to pace yourself also to, it's a very elusive role in this respect. A lot of times if you start, if you start the, if you start playing it too low or without, you know, full on, dramatic passion in the beginning, it, it loses. It's extraordinarily written when you work on it because it is a monster, you know, and, and people talk about it as the Everest of Shakespeare and Everest of a role, but mm. it's beautifully, you find it, you, you, he it's gets, right. he gives you the big, big bits breaks. and then you got some breaks, then you come back and then you get more bits and you, I That's mean, right. it's, it's quite extraordinarily worked out as just a piece of craft by Shakespeare. You're looking at a ruler like Lear who has never given up power whose rule was absolute and, is, and, and a country that is going to undergo tremendous transformation, if not total anarchy and chaos in the aftermath of his death. And there's a lot of that in the world. Certainly the world Shakespeare lived in, and unfortunately we live in that same world today. And you just look around the globe. The worst experience I have in the theater is when I have no feelings whatsoever coming out of the theater and say, hey, where do you want to go have dinner? Uh, I mean, to me, I like to have a debate with a play. Yeah. I like to argue about a play, and I like plays that sort of rile me up. Yeah. I mean, Shakespeare's yeah. Lear, to me, is a play that inspires awe and mm. terror. And I have to say, in many productions I've seen, it wasn't there. Shakespeare needs not to be a museum piece. Uh, it needs to be alive. And for me, the way to do that is to embrace often contemporary imagery. Right. So if we talk about Katrina, if we talk about the death of Castro, if we talk about war in the Middle East, I can't help but bring those images in, uh, some ways literally, some ways poetically, or it certainly informs our thinking. So as a company, yes, we're performing a 400-year-old play on stage, speaking language that was written 400 years ago. but. Sometimes you'll see contemporary imagery that'll make you think of today, right. which I, I think is a good thing for audiences Very good to thing. do. People say it's a sad play at the end. Of, you know, it, it, it's sad. It has a sad ending. It's sad. It should rip your heart out. Not it's sad. It should tear your heart out. Mm -hmm.